Functions are perhaps one of the more misunderstood aspects of scripting. They allow you to define certain pieces of code and reuse them with a single command. It's basically like writing your own actions. They're super easy to use and they're super powerful and if you get used to using them from the start it'll add a lot of value to your workflow. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're going to define a function by typing the word function and then we're going to name our function. In this case we'll call it add and we'll create a function that adds two numbers together and displays it in a dialog message box. So we'll create a set of parentheses here and we'll tell it that it's going to accept two values. For example, two numbers to add together. And we do that by defining the variables here in the parentheses. We'll just put an x and a y. Now we'll create an end statement and we're going to sandwich our function code between the function statement and the end statement. In this case, we're using a dialog message box which we've become familiar with, so it's good to stick with. And we will type in the title area, your sum is. And then for our value, for our message, we're going to type x plus y. No quotation marks. Okay, so that's our function. If we were to run it as is, nothing would happen because we haven't called it yet. So what we need now, after we've defined our function, is to call our function. And we do that simply by calling its name. So we can say add then in parenthesis 5 and 9 for example and we when we run this code you'll see that it adds 5 and 9 together and adds them to the dialog box and displays the dialog box so it's basically a very simple way to call back blocks of code in this case we've only called back a single line of code but you could put 500 lines in there if you wanted or a thousand lines each function can be as big as you want okay let's take one last look at functions by looking at the project global functions area. Now this is very cool. This is under the project menu, global functions, and this is an area where you can actually define functions for your entire project on startup. So this is basically like writing your own actions. And again, we're going to create a function by typing the word function. In this case, let's create a string function. So we'll call it name, and we're going to pass a name to it. So we'll set a variable name for that here. We'll call it my name. That's going to be the name of the string that gets passed here. And we'll type our end statement. And in between here, we're going to, again, put a dialog message box. And in this particular case, we will pass the value your name is as a title. And then we'll just pass the value straight to the dialog message box. So this is not necessarily an example of how you would make more efficient code. This is an example of how to call a function. Uh, like I say, in reality, you might have 50 lines of code inside this function. And that's basically the purpose of functions, is to reuse code. So if you find yourself reusing the same line of code throughout your project, you should define it as a function in your global functions area. That way, if you ever need to edit that code, you can edit this one instance, and it'll immediately be reflected in all your scripts. So let's go ahead and press OK. And now from our page, we can actually call that function. So we just have to say name and then we just have to pass a value. In this case, I'll pass my first name. So we press F5 to preview, and there you go. It passed the value and it called the function. So basically, functions are a great way to centralize your code and reuse your code. And for example, let's say we had a mortgage calculator. That could be 500 lines of code, and all we would have to do is pass it a value such as this. For example, our principal our period and our interest rate and it could actually go through and calculate all that stuff it could even be going online to get a, a formula or an uh, algorithm to apply to these values so functions are very very simple but very very powerful and I urge you guys to explore them and try them out if you have any questions meet me in the forum and I'll be happy to help you